Good morning guys, what a lovely, lovely day. Sun is shining, look at this scene. Just look at it, look at that behind us. Beautiful guys, this was our park up last night. This, well, park up, this is where we moor. I've got to call it different now because we're not on a van, we're on a boat, so it's called mooring. So this is our moor up. Right, I'm not going to talk for a minute, but uh, this ain't no sound effect, but listen to this sound, ready? Hopefully you can hear that, but all you can hear is birds, sheep, and pigeons. And every now and then you hear a daisy gruff, but what's the plan today, baby? We've got no locks today, have we? We've got bridges, electric bridges, and I'm not too sure what I've got today. Locks, just bridges, electric bridge, which would be fun. So let's hit the road, hit the canal, and then we'll go. We are off. Today is going to be a bit history lesson, I think. What do you reckon, babe? A bit of history over the canal. How it was built, when it was built, what it was built for and where it used to go. First, we're just gonna cruise for a bit. An hour under our belt and then we'll do it then. Get some drone to think, cause it's a nice day today. No rain, sunny, no wind. Glorious! Guys, look at these houses. Stunning houses on the ground. Imagine waking up every morning. On a boat, not in a house, but. <gasps> Guys, we are parked up in a little village. Right, the canal's right there, and there's two pubs. There's a shop somewhere, so we're gonna find the shop. Um, we don't really film, we haven't really filmed us in a, uh, a village yet. Have we, babe? No. So, there is villages on the way, if you wanna stop, but we're gonna get up to the Brecon first, and then stop in the villages on the way back down. That is the plan. But we are trying to find a shop, because we need two bags, we need some more milk. What else do we need? What, we've used all the milk in two days. There's not a lot of milk left, so we don't know when the next village is. We always need so much milk. It's this village hall there, so I guess we're going the wrong way. Oh, we'll stop then. Okay. Oh. Here's one of the pubs. That's one. And then Andy. And then that's another pub. And then Andy's going to take the dog. This is what we were telling people as well. So, like, the canals are just not in the middle of anywhere. They do go through like towns, villages, cities, everywhere they go through. And there's another pub. So that's three pubs, or is that the same pub? No, it's the same. That's the same pub. There's only two pubs. Okay, there's only two pubs. One is close. Whatever is on our side today. It is. It's good. No, it's not going to have so many layers on. I know that I've got my coat on, but. It's very warm today, which is nice. So there's the. Uh, so we've got ice cream, bike hire, coffee shop, post office. Bike higher, and then this is the electric bridge, which we're gonna cause a lot of kerfuff and a lot of traffic. <laughs> a lot of kerfuff. This is the electric bridge. Put a key in, press it, it goes up, and then we st stop the traffic. I don't know how long for. So there's the boats. There's the village. I didn't know that, guys. Playing tug of war with a boat, guys. Gotta bring it back. There's to there, to that water point. And then fill it with water. And then we're on to the electric bridge that I just showed you.
yeah. Here is a, another bridge. This one is actually onto private land, so this one is open. I guess when Susan wants to uh, cross the canal, she comes out of her little key. Wind it down and go for a little trot on down the path. Okay, so we have moored up after them bridges. Done a little bit of cruising. Got some signal, telly's on, tea's made, bacon sunnies is made. But then, if you love a good old pub, there's a pub right there. We might think, why don't we just go eat in the pub, but we've got so much food in the fridge to eat. I don't mind, okay. So, we might go for a pint. But yeah. And it's to the crazy. The Mom of Shire Canal, including a branch from Malbus to Crumlin, was opened throughout in 1799 with the Brecknock and Aberga Veni extending from Brecon to Gilwern by. 1800 and reaching Pontime Oil by 1812, both canals were supported by horse drawn tram roads that were menal. Why used to bring coal, limestone, and iron ore from the hillsides? In 1880, the Monmouthshire and Brecon canals, as they were then known, were taken over by the Great Western Railway. Within 35 years, commercial carrying had all but ceased. Throughout the 20th century, various parts of the Monmouthshire Canal and its crumlin arm were filled in for road construction. The line was all but obliterated through Combran and was effectively unnavigable further north. However, vigorous campaigning by canal enthusiasts heralded a new dawn. For the canal, and in 1968, restoration work from Brecon to Pontime Oil began in earnest. Restoration was not without its setbacks. Following a major breach at Landfoist in 1975, it was a further six years before the line from Brecon to Pontime Oil was reopened. More recent developments have included a complete regeneration of the terminus at Brecon and various works to reclaim the navigation between Pontime Oil and Newport. Part of the Crumlin Arm has also been restored by the Moan and Brett Canal Trust and their visitor centre at 14 Locks is open regularly. M so guys, we've come up to another bridge. And he's got to operate this one because this one is for the farmer, but he wants it shut. So guys, there's the history of the canal, which I've just done. So I hope you enjoyed the history. And now this is the next I think this might be the last one but Andy has to do this one she has to shut it and close it so I am gonna pass you the camera to Andy she's gonna throw a daisy on and then so on two hours later How was the bridge, babe? Yeah, great. This canal is like full of excitement, surprises, exercises, <laughs> exercise routines, jumping, running, winding, chasing Daisy. Be, uh... I reckon I would, you should lose a lot of weight after being on a canal. Which is good, because we're staying outside and we're healthy. And I'm gonna pick Andy up now. Guys, so we are going to call it a night. Daisy ended up jumping in a bush. And being a long, as you can tell by Andy's face, being a long, stupid, fluffy dog, Andy's had to pick all these out of fur. Individually. Individually, because they get stuck in that. 
So yeah. Hey Daze, you won't do it again, will you? I'm not mad, I'm disappointed.